What is the issue in running the economy on renewable intermittent electricity? Let's look at the problem from a different perspective. Imagine being a beach vendor, selling water bottles to passers-by every day. On average, you know that on a hot summer day, you will be selling 500 bottles of water. So you leave every morning with 500 bottles and sell them to different flows of people throughout the day. Some hours are quieter, and during peak hours, you sell more. Simple enough, right? Now, let's imagine that instead of selling water bottles, you have ice cream cones, but you don't have a fridge to store the ice cream. What's worse, your ice cream supplier is unreliable and brings you tubs of ice cream whenever he wants. The only option you have is to scoop all the ice cream out of the tubs when he arrives and put it on cones, lined up in front of you. If there are no passers-by, the ice cream melts. At other times, you may not have enough ice cream available and people complain. What does this have to do with electricity? The wind and sun can be seen as our unreliable ice cream supplier, providing intermittent energy. The ice cream cones are renewable infrastructure, windmills or photovoltaic panels. We may have more and more of it, but this is useless if the wind and sun aren't there when needed, like a cone without ice cream. This is why we need storage solutions, and it is very unlikely that we will have viable, large-scale storage in the near future. So, if we are serious about cutting emissions fast, it might be time to also think about reducing how much electricity we consume, and not just changing how we produce it.